All right, all right, all right, Pisces. Baby, treat me nice, please. What is going on with you guys? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let my lovely, lovely Pisces know what is going on for you for the month of August 2019. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. Thank you so much for the support. Shout out to everyone who's been liking, sharing, and surprising. and have it be in the past, present, or the future. You know I love you know I do all right if there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot only thing you need to do is go on over to the bow tab there's a lot of cool information over there also if you guys watch the morning slide with me if you guys want to get you a morning slide mug so you can sip your coffee and tea with me I need to listen Y'all know I got my trusty old, trusty old, my old bust down, honey. It's my old bust down shorty. But I don't want y'all to be, you know what I'm saying? I've been rocking with mama for like the last two years or something. I just can't let her go. You know, I got sentimental value, sentimental value. I want you to have a sentimental value about your morning slide cup, okay? Okay? All right? Anyway, let me just tell <laughs> Anyway, so um, if you guys want to book a personal private reading with me, only thing you need to do is go ahead and click that about tab. Um, what you need to do is is book, then link up with me. You book it, then you link up. And the way that you do that is there's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Go ahead and click that link, select the uh, reading of your choosing, and then you link up with me, with me on Instagram and or on um, Google Hangouts. So my Instagram link is directly under the booking link. Go ahead and click that and you can just send me a message and um, say, hey, Rez, this is so-and-so. I booked with you on this and date, this and that date of time. And then we'll link up from there. Nine times out of 10, the day that you book with me, I'm going to try to get that reading done that day as long as I'm not overbooking. You know what I'm saying? As long as I don't have already too many obligations on my plate, if I could fit you in that day, um, the day that you book, I'm going to try to get your reading done that day. So make sure as soon as you book your reading that you automatically follow up with me and send me some communication so that I can, you know, you know, take care of you, baby. So I can take care of you now if you're not available for a video chat, especially if you're overseas and if you just want me to record the video for you where you just send me the question there's an option to do that there's an add-on you can use this add-on it's called a video recap and a direct upload that's what the add-on is called you can use that if you want me to record our live uh reading session and if you want a copy of the video i can privately upload that to youtube and send you a link that's the recap portion and then the direct upload portion is if you do not want to get on camera and if you just want to send me your question i can directly record that and upload it to youtube and you can watch your video at your own leisure so if you choose not to get on camera with me only thing you need to know is um just tell me your question of what you want to know. I already have your name. I don't need anyone's birth chart or any of that stuff like that. Only thing I need to know is what your question is. Make sure to don't tell me the meat and potatoes as to why you're asking the question because I just want to go into the energy blind and see what spirit has to say. And then we're going to reconnect on the back end and we're going to communicate about that, okay? So, um, again, book the link. If you choose to add on, make sure that you send me your question, but don't tell me too much as to why you're asking the question. In about 24 to 48 hours, I'm going to upload the video to YouTube, and then you'll have your private upload video. And let me think, is there anything else? Not that I can think of. Okay, let's keep it moving. All right. So, oh, if there's any, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so shout out to my baby, Miss D. And of course, shout out to Cali. Shout out to everyone. Make sure if you, oh, in the name of Jesus. So you guys, we got the uh, Mystic, what is it? Murdra, uh, what is this? Yoga um, deck here, you guys. So this deck, it gives you like yoga uh, techniques. The sleeping angle pose. I speak my truth and allow the universe to light my way isn't this amazing you guys so i'm not going to be using this that look okay and then we got what is this here the embryo pose Ooh. mm-hmm i've been hearing about y'all out here trying to impregnate bitches oh 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 we gotta watch out for you you've been doing that embryo pose okay watch me do that yoga anyway <laughs> and we got the souls journeys deck um, I feel like we got a few more other new decks too y'all just been showing up and showing out 
Oh, 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 yes, we got the Unicorn playing card deck as well as the Game of Thrones playing card deck, which we will be using in, in Game of Thrones playing card deck today. So we got a lot of new treats. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. If you want to support the page, only thing that you need to do is click that About tab. My PayPal and my Amazon wish list is in there. If these videos resonate at any time and you want to send some love back to the page, feel free to do so. Like I'm trying to tell you, it helps the page grow tremendously and Every time that we come back every month and we do these readings, we have new inside. I can't wait to, to um, pull out that yoga deck for you because it's amazing. Anyway, let's just get into a five. Okay, so Father God, give me guidance for my Pisces uh, for the month of August. Thank you so much for bringing us here, Father God. Thank you so much for your abundant light, your blessing. Thank you so much for your positive glow that is just radiating above us, Father God. We're trying to push forward into prosperity and abundance. Thank you so much for your enlightenment. And thank you so much for even when we're hard-headed, still being not taking your foot off of the gas on us because if you let up on us and if you make it too easy for us god we would stay stagnant so thank you so much father god continue to propel us towards our greatness and give us guidance for my pisces thank you so much let's get this guidance for my pisces for the month of august all right give me guidance I just like my eyes just laid on this one card. I wonder if it's about to pop out. Give me guidance for my Pisces for August. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nope. The green fairy at the end of the world. The natural world needs you. I feel like things are growing in your life. I feel like. Your foundation is a very important right now. Things are growing at a rapid pace. And I feel like right now is a time for you to focus on your foundation and the seeds that you planted here. And it's time for you to tend to your garden. You know what I'm saying? You need to conserve your time and your energy a little bit more into the seeds that you planted to make sure that they grow. You know, the natural world needs you. It's time for you to pay attention to your your yard your garden give me guidance for my Pisces mm, the high priestess in the reverse there's some sneakiness going on there's some sneakiness going on right out the door I don't trust it <laughs> Lord the sneakiness with the high priestess in reverse the star in reverse someone is not Acting, someone acting out of their character, someone who doesn't know their worth. The world, fast, rapid movement, closer, a closure of chapters. The Queen of Spears in reverse. You guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or a Aries woman, and a Temperance in reverse. So listen, this this here, this here is is not okay. Look. Okay, you got the high priestess in reverse and then you have the queen of wands in reverse. So we have two ladies here. You got someone off balance and having a lack of faith and not necessarily operating in a way where they know their worth of showing that they appreciate the worth of others. Okay, this is someone not acting on the importance of their role in this situation. Do you understand? They are not being who they need to be in this life in this realm in this situation it looks here like you have two two different seeds planted here two different seeds planted with a high priestess in the reverse this is someone sneaky someone conniving someone manipulative someone that knows the power that they possess over someone and is using it for their own benefit do you understand this is either the Pisces that knows the power that they possess over someone. It could be the power that they possess over this Queen of Wands in reverse. And that's why this woman is the way that she is because she's pissed. Okay? 
This woman is very agile and ready to leap upon you like a goddamn springbok, bitch, if you even act stupid, okay? Like, no, I'm serious. Like, the queen of wands in reverse is not someone that you necessarily want to deal with on her bad day. And this is her on her bad day because she doesn't trust what's going on. You're not acting the way that you used to. You know, she knows the star that you are and you are not acting in the way, in a manner that this person is used to you acting, okay? And this could be the Pisces woman. Do you understand? That has no faith, no positive outlook in the future for this situation because she doesn't trust what's going on. Someone is hiding something. Someone is being sneaky. Someone is being manipulative and this person knows what to say or do to make someone move and operate in the way that they want it to and whoever this woman is because I'm seeing two female energies I'm seeing a lot of female energy here whoever this female is number one I, I feel like a chapter needs to close here with this world card there needs to be movement there needs to be a separation do you understand what I'm saying because I don't really see any positivity i don't see any positivity here other than the fact that this chapter needs to be closed here because this woman is it's out her bag she's out her bag and not only is she out her bag and i mean out her bag meaning her money might be fucked up a lot of time invested a lot of time wasted that's how this woman feels she's angry um you might be a little timid around her. I feel like her temper is very fiery. Like her temper is very fiery. And she might, like I wouldn't even be surprised that if you acted or did a certain thing around her. Like she might pop you in your face. Like she is that. She, it, it okay, let's, let's find out what's going on. Let's find out. Why is this chapter being closed? There's no faith. No one trusts each other. There's people hiding secrets. There's someone sneaking around. I feel, I mean, I honestly feel like. Oh God. I I'm I'm keeping it honest. The queen of the queen of clubs. Okay? There's the queen of the pack right there. There's the queen of the clubs. She works hard. I believe that's her right here. That's the queen of the club, okay? This one is very socially active. She takes the active approach to life. Um, she might, I mean, like I said, she may be a queen of a club or a, a social enterprise or something like that. Like a big social group or like a community of people. I could see that she has a very big presence there. This woman works hard and she's like... She's a very family-oriented woman. You understand? She's a very family-oriented woman. But this woman is angry. This woman is off balance. She needs to get her emotions in check. She is very impatient and waiting for things to grow and things to change here. And she's very much so maybe the one that needs to take a trip on somewhere else to leave. Okay? The king of clubs and the queen of clubs. This is some twin flame, some soulmate energy here. Okay? That's over here. But why is this off balance? Why is this temperance in the reverse? Why is there no work being put here? Like, it's like, do you understand? You see how he's studying how to make things better? Someone here is not studying how to make things better. Someone is not putting forth the energy. Is not putting forth the effort. This one right here has a lack of patience. She has a lack of patience. She feels and she knows. Don't look flabbergasted because I'm talking about you. You're sneaking around. You have some high priestess here. You ain't been acting right. You ain't been acting and respecting me and treating me in a way that I deserve. And I know it. I know it. I know it. You know, she looks dirty, but he looks clean. I feel like this one has been digging in the dirt, trying to figure out what the, what's going on. Did I just mix up my... Yes, I did. Oh, my oh my dear God. Why did I do that? Father God, help me in the name of Jesus. Why did I do that? I'm hoping that that was just that one card. That was. Okay, good. Okay. 
Give me guidance. What's going on with this king and queen of clubs? This is like a married couple. If they're not married, they're like common law. They got kids. They definitely have a lot of kids. The king and queen of clubs have a lot of kids. Because they're very active. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Let's 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 read the story out here. All right, the Joker. All right, this person was a fool here, and it looks like this person got beat up and got the short end of the stick. Someone was a fool here. Someone had a situation. It looks like the man in this situation. Yeah, the situation. He had a situation where. It was a very strong commitment. Uh, I feel like both people were willing to put the work in. I feel like investment wise, like anyone looking at you, they could look at you guys and see that both of you guys were putting energy in. I mean, I feel like it was the beginning stage for a lot of great things here. But this person, like a fool, like a fool, I feel like <laughs> seven, 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 wow, in the eight, wow. I feel like a fool, this person kind of withdrew from their responsibilities where it kind of should have been and contemplating I feel like this is confusion. Like, this is a card of confusion. I feel like this person felt like if I withdraw my energy over here and sneak and try to put a little bit over here, you know, maybe I could have two different beans growing out of two different pots and it'd be more lucrative for me. I just kind of have to wait and be patient and see how it grows. And I think that they were waiting to see which pot produced more fruits. And whichever pot produced more fruits, that was the pot that, that, that the one was going to go to. And the seven of spades, I see a study long, study wrong. Do you understand what I'm saying? Study long, study wrong. Or you didn't study long enough. You did not study long enough. Because at the end of the day, I feel like you were curious. You were... I feel like there was a level of curiosity and what else they could have grow. I feel like there was some frustration at home after a while. After a while. And that's where this person knowing their power that they possess that at home. That they could sneak off and kind of like withdraw a little bit and do a little bit here. Do a little bit here. They knew the power that they possessed at home. And that this person wasn't going anywhere. They, they looked at the person that they had at home like they will always be the starters person is always going to let me come back in because you just you felt like this person will always kind of be sitting waiting in the window for you. You understand? And this person doesn't feel like that anymore. This person doesn't trust you and they're not sitting in that window waiting for you anymore. They don't have any faith that you're coming back anymore. And that's why this person is closing this chapter and they're moving on because they're mad. And they're unbalanced and they're tired of their life being unbalanced. They're seeing you planting seeds in it and allowing it to grow somewhere else, thinking that the grass was greener, having other options, having confusion. Do you understand what I'm saying? Having confusion. The seven of hearts. This means like safe and comfortable home environment. You know what I'm saying? Like this person took a safe and comfortable home environment where the work was being put in. You were able to see the resources and the things that you were benefiting from this connection. And then like a fool, you took yourself out there in the trenches thinking something that was going to be better. And <laughs> I feel like you should have put more work instead of withdrawing yourself at home. You should have put more work in there. This is, you know what I'm saying? This person felt like I have to put too, too much work in over here. I'll go over there and see if I can find more emotional comfort. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I feel like it ends up... Like, it, 
it ended in it ended up in betrayal. It ended up in demise. It ended up in failure. It ended up in failure. Like this is someone that, and I ha I hate to say the word like almost suicidal, but it's just like I feel like I shot myself. Like I like I was playing like Russian roulette. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was like. This person played Russian roulette with their life. You understand what I'm saying? With their livelihood, their family, their peace, their home, serenity, like with everything, trying to plant two different things in one in two different pots and almost ended up with nothing. So let's let's see if I'm reading this right, you guys. As you guys know, I'm just now studying Carter Mancy. So we are going to get clarification from my little website here. So what is this? The Ace of Clubs. The Ace of Clubs means the beginning of a new enterprise, a business, a venture, focus, direction, single mindedness of a purpose. When you went into the situation with this person, it was just you and that person. It was like a single goal, you know, uh, a legal document, a contract, mortgages. You guys lived with each other, a legal will or you like I said, you guys were married, you know, a building or institution, a government, a corporate office, a public private financial educational or penal system a home belonging to someone all right so like i said like and that could also be news that whoever is moving you guys are going to get accepted for that new home you guys are going to get accepted for that new home so the ace of diamonds Ace of Diamonds, written news. Like I said, you guys are going to get accepted for that home. Written news, a letter, a message, an invitation, a port, a document, new beginning, a fresh start, a new phase of life, something brand new, a ring, an engagement, life force, fire. There go that fire sign right there. So like I told you, in the beginning of this situation, there was a brand new, like you guys had the chance to like, on some pinky and brain shit like kind of take over the world thing like y'all were in it together it was like y'all had a single vision y'all had a single vision but somehow like you guys broke apart like somehow you guys broke apart because someone here with the seven of clubs i really do feel like they felt like they you know that they were having to put in too much work here and they felt like hold on the seven Seven of Club, increase of activity or change in business or social situation. I told you, okay? Increase of, of, of activity or a change in business or social situation. Physical or mental effort, including yard work, housework, home repairs, or even fixing the car. Attention to detail. Carefully evaluating the situation before making a decision or taking action. Keeping busy. Risk of work overload, the need to rest, relaxation, preoccupied with work, the card of a workaholic, negotiations, disagreements, arguments, or feeling restlessness or discomfort, taking on too much, making the best of a difficult situation. So like I said, this shit started off good, but then this 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 Pisces or uh, whoever this fire sign is possibly felt like it was too much work. It was too much work. They're having to put in all this increase of activity and it might have just been better if you make some changes in social status with people, you know? Like I said, a withdrawal. Let's check out that seven of spades, which you already know that that's a bad damn card. You better know that. Seven of spades is traditionally a card of bad luck, loss, unexpected trouble, mishap, unhappy surprises, a tower card, okay? Serious setback, reversal of plans, frustration, lack of progress. A stalemate, stagnation, addiction, drugs, medication, alcohol, codependent relationship, a cocktail, a nightclub, a bar, a saloon, okay? So, like I said, something where it started off where everyone was on a one-track mind. We all had a single vision. At some point in time, someone said, hey, it may be too much work here. Might have got a little bit stressed out. Realize that this is a codependent relationship where you guys are merely addicted on each other because y'all need to work things out for the betterment of it. Or at least that's how this Pisces probably felt. You know, we have to work things out because at the end of the day, without work becomes no finance. So, you know, 
there could be a possibility that this Pisces or the person dealing with Pisces was merely sticking it in for the long call for financial security. Okay, so because I like this codependency, it's like you know, this person for them to withdraw from you to plant another seed somewhere else to see if things would better benefit them. This is someone that is more so thinking about. Their relationships with people is based off of what? It's based off of their level of comfortability. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, peaceful surroundings. This is about their peaceful surroundings. This is about, you know, peaceful surroundings, healing, steady improvement, happy surprises, the cycle of life, the second chances, the opportunity to redo things, things that come in two. I told you this person had two. Two options. Confusion is just like the seven of cups confusion you know people have a multiple selections the eight of spades let's get into this and i'm telling you that this is not going to be good here this my friend is not going to be good at all the eight of spades traditionally a card of disappointment illness physical restriction loss of balance lack of reciprocation unrequited love one-sided and not mutually beneficial <laughs> physical imbalance health problems mental imbalance a doctor a dentist a psychiatrist a wound pain insults feeling slighted i'm trying by this queen of spears by this queen of wands they're gonna get their feelings hurt okay Reassessing one's goal, examining accomplishments, investigating, researching a question or a problem, a medical exam, civil service exam, scholastics, forensic, a police investigation. So I really do feel between this couple right here. This one, like I told you, she went down in the mud. She went down in the dirt. Because she, this he look clean, but you ain't that motherfucking clean. Because I don't trust you with this hot priestess card. Who is this bitch or why do I feel like you're using your power for manipulation and for the betterment for yourself because you ain't acting the way that i'm used to you behaving where have you been i haven't seen you in a long time so this person could be in and out of the house could disappear for weeks at a time and just pop back up like, oh, hey, what's going on? And this queen of spirits is like, oh, no, 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 no. This Sagittarius, this Leo, or this Aries woman is like, oh, no, the fuck you not. No, the fuck you not. Okay? Mm-mm-mm. There is big changes. And there's going to be a big level of withdrawal if someone is moving away. Give me guidance in regards to this. The sickle, I told you. Someone is getting cut out. Crossroads. Someone has left the premises and now they're in a crossroads and they're trying to figure out which destination where their life is going to take them now. Give me guidance. Someone got cut off. Yeah, they're having to move. They're having to move. So this is an abrupt arrival. So you might abruptly have got put out. And, and had to move on. Yeah. Because the time was up. The clock was ticking on this situation. So it's very, very po much possible that this queen of spirits, because she's had it. She's tired of, 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 of you or uh, this Pisces is tired of her causing conflict in their life. Yeah. This relationship has felt like an unfair beating. They're tired of the hardship. They're tired of the arguments. They're tired of the abuse. They're tired of the suffering. They're purging. They're angry. Do you understand what I'm saying? Distort. There's a pregnancy as well. There's a pregnancy. Yes. There's a pregnancy. And there may be a secret. This pregnancy may be a secret. Someone may not know that this woman is pregnant. Who? Hmm. Who is pregnant, honey? Let me find out who is pregnant real quick. Who is pregnant? Someone is pregnant. Someone is expecting. And it's a secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. They're not telling anybody about this. Give me a guidance. The death card. 
the page of wands there might be a termination of the pregnancy though It's going to be a termination of the pregnant. The, the lady's not going to keep the baby. I don't think she's going to keep the baby. That's sad. You know, the death card and the page of wands in reverse. So, like I said, this person is going to feel like I should have never had unprotected sex with you. And this person is not allowing. Like, And I'm sorry, I really don't like to talk about shit like that. But... If, if this Pisces doesn't know that this person is pregnant, this person is pregnant, but they're not telling you about it because they're planning on terminating it. That's why they're not communicating with you, letting you know about this shit, but they're, they're going to get rid of this child. They don't want no child with you. They want you to get the fuck out and move on. They're tired of being in this crossroads with you. They're tired of the sneakiness. They're tired of you lying. They're, not, they're tired of you not being the way that you used to be. They don't have any faith in you that you're going to change. They don't have any faith that anything different is going to come out of this scenario. And I really do feel like they feel like they're tired of being stuck in a... Yeah, they're tired of being stuck in a crossroads. And they're ready to move on. They want a better standard of life, a better way of, of life. You know what I'm saying? What is this? Patience and planning. Okay? So you guys need to... Have some patience, and that's another number fucking seven. Listen, I feel like Pisces really needs to withdraw themselves and to really contemplate and come to terms about what it is that the fuck that they want. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you really need to come down and you need to plan and you need to get your life together. You need to get your life in order. You need to figure out how you want your seeds to grow, where you want your seeds to grow, where you want things to go. Because right now, I mean, you got a baby on the way. You might not even know about this shit. This person doesn't trust you and does not want to be with you and wants to move away from you that bad that they're hiding the fact that they're pregnant by you. This person is pregnant by you. You see all these seven, 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 seven. There's four sevens out here. And the death card. And then this card represents the foundation. They feel like you are going to fuck up their foundation or this baby is going to fuck up their foundation. And they're, they're upset. They're upset. They don't want to be stuck with you again with a baby. They don't want to be stuck. They do not. They want to get away from you. This person and got they so all fucking dirty fucking around with you. They, they, they don't want to be stuck in this commitment. They don't want to be stuck in this commitment. Do you understand what I'm saying? They do not want to be stuck in this commitment. This child, did they feel like your child is in this? Like, they're, like for some reason, that this person is never going to grow up. Whoever this is that they're dealing with, what is this? Yeah, and it, there, there's no compromise. They feel like this person is, and this person doesn't take action. This is the way, I really feel like this is the way that they feel about this Pisces. This Pisces is on the outside of this family. Do you see? This, this Pisces is on the outside of this tribe. So I definitely feel like this person might have got put out. Because this person is dealing with this Pisces. Or the Pisces that's dealing with this Queen of Wands. Feels like that this person needs to dig deep and do some shadow work. They don't have the patience for this person with their bullshit. And you see this as a child in the background. They feel like this person is childish and needs to grow up. They should have seen the signs a long time ago. You know? And should have never allowed you to return back into their life to get you to get them pregnant. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're releasing you. This spring. Hmm. Oh, they allowed you back into their life over the springtime, thinking that they could paint a perfect picture. <laughs> that was like the biggest mistake that they ever made in their life. It did not turn out the way that they wanted it to be. You, you they did not. It did. It just the fuck did not. You understand what I'm saying? And they have lack of patience, and they're tired, and they're angry, and they're frustrated. And not only that, it's like they're pregnant, and like the whole time that they've been pregnant, they have been nothing but miserable and unhappy, and they don't want to feed that type of energy to their child, and they rather just get rid of it. They're not going to bring another child into this world, into this bullshit. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this is someone that I feel like already has children by you. Either already have children, or this is their first child, and 
might be their first child, but I don't think it was their first abortion. It definitely wasn't their first abortion. This is someone that has, it might be, like, I'm sorry. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, but I just feel like this person is definitely comfortable with the fact of knowing that they don't want to bring this child into this world with someone that they don't trust and someone that is on the outside of the home situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person's on the outside of the home. And they feel like this person is childish and this person is... They can't come to a compromise and they feel like this person won't grow. Give me guidance. Yeah, they want this person to go back home to wherever it is, the fuck that they came from. You know, I feel like they've known each other for a long time. They have a very long history with each other. And I feel like there's this nostalgic feeling of how things was when y'all first got together. But at the end of the day, like, I feel like whatever seeds are planted are already planted. Um, What is this? You see how she, look. This temperance card is in the reverse. There's no patience. There's no hope. There's no faith. There's no balance. There's no resources left here to sit around and waddle and twist our fingers and try to think. You know what I'm saying? Like this person is just like the memories is all we have. Do you understand what I'm saying? The memories of the past is all that we have. I need something that's nurturing. I need someone that is willing to give to me the way that I give to them. I don't want to keep having to pour out this cup because people keep coming to me with bullshit. I should have seen this shit a long time ago. It's you're not going to change. What is this? Okay. This person is Pisces. is tired of getting up every night having to slay the thoughts of woulda shoulda couldas I wish I'd have did things different is this person pregnant what's going on blah 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 like this person has been living a complete fucking nightmare a complete fucking nightmare being sneaky being sneaky I really do feel like this person was being sneaky and caused a whole bunch of mischief um, in their life and in other people's lives as well I don't know my my best friend bought me this bought me these little things from um china they're so cute my cute little turtles it's like a collection of like six of them or something but anyway i feel like this person just needs to retreat and wants to rest and wants to lay this situation to bed like they want to lay this situation to bed they're tired of arguing they're tired of fighting it's just been too much it's been a, a very bad especially verbal conflict there's been a lot of verbal arguments right now and they, they just want to slay the situation for good i feel like they're going to pay their taxes or whatever it is especially i feel like this could be someone that has yeah with this child like i feel like this person is just going to pay child support and they just want to dead this situation I don't have no, it's like, it's childish. It's fucking childish. It's childish. Only thing we have is memories of how things used to be. And I don't pour this shit out because it is keeping them codependent. And it's like this person keeps thinking about how things used to be so much so that it's like a nightmare. It's like a nightmare because it's like I'm dreaming, dreaming, dreaming up of how things used to be. And I'm putting my hope and faith in that. But then every time when I wake up, Everything that I'm hoping and dreaming for my life with this person is everything but that and it's a complete fucking nightmare and I'm tired of being trapped in and being patient thinking that you're going to wake up and things are going to be different. It's fucking not whoever this person I really do and I'm feeling this anger from this queen of spears from this queen of wands. This woman is just laying this shit to rest. You're never going to change. You're never going to be what I need you to be. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I'm done. I don't want you. I don't want no more children by you. Listen, I'm coming to you. I'm letting you know. I don't fuck with you like that no more. I'm tired. Okay? I just want you to pay me what you owe me in regards to these kids or whatever. Make that shit balance. And I, I just want you to pay me and, and just do handle your responsibilities. Like that's that's basically what it is. And it's like this person wants evidence. Pisces wants this person to handle their responsibilities and just pay what they're supposed to pay without frustration. 
Because at the end of the day, it's like you're going to pay me what I'm owed regardless if you want to or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are your kids. This is your responsibility. I'm not going to run around and be a beggar. Do you see how these people are? You see their clothes are all tatted up like they're poor and they happen to beg favor for this person. Like, And also, this woman is tired. She's going to put to rest. She's putting to rest having to come and yell and fuss and fight with you to make you pay and take care of your kids. So don't be surprised if she take you to child support court or divorce court or whatever. This one up here has had it. You're not going to continue. Look, and look, nostalgia. What's that say? Nostalgia enchanted. Enchanted. And then the belt. They've been, this person, whoever this is, has been dealing with this Pisces or this Pisces, whoever that they've been dealing with, this Leo, this um, Sagittarius or this um, Aries, this person or this Aquarius. Listen, uh, who else I'm saying? Uh, 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 God, I'm forgetting the fixed sign shit. Anyway, fuck it. Listen, whoever this person is, and you guys know the energy can be vice versa, and even though I'm saying a female energy... Uh, or male energy. You guys know it can be vice versa and reverse or whatever. Anyway. So what is it saying? Hitting. Some truths have been coming out. What's the truth? Profound lessons are at hand. Completions of a cycle is near. Yeah, it's no secret. Like this shit is over. What's hidden? What's hidden? What's hidden? What's coming out? Is it the pregnancy? I, for some reason, I feel like this person knows about this pregnancy. I don't feel like... I feel like this person slightly knows about this pregnancy. I feel like this hidden thing is something else. What's hidden? Serenity, tranquility, butterflies. I really... I know. I feel like that baby is. The baby is. That baby is the secret. The baby's the secret. Yeah. Blue and white. This is purity, safety, innocence, light. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like... Loyalty. All right, so this is what I'm getting. The fact that this person is pregnant is going to come out. And the fact that this person is going to try to abort this baby or whatever. I definitely feel like this is coming out. And I want to say I feel like this person is going to be traumatized by this shit that they will abort their baby. That's why I'm trying to tell you, like profound lessons are at hand. Like this, this cycle is going to be closed. I feel like this abortion is going to end this relationship you understand to so whereas though this person felt like they can come in and out as they please and they were able to come here and find their serenity their tranquility and their peace this termination of this pregnancy is going to take the light it's going to take the innocence it's going to take the purity it's going to take the security from this person because this person is going to be looking at it like if she is willing to abort my baby i know that i know where her loyalty lies you understand what i'm saying she really don't fuck with me the ugly duckling grew up to be a swan this person is loyal to herself this person is not going to keep going down this mystery rabbit hole with me at all okay and this is a chilling confirmation this is chilling i really do feel like the fact that this man is going to find out that this woman, that they felt like they could come in and out, sneak around, do whatever, you know, they felt when they came back this past spring, they felt like they can do what they were used to doing. Mm -mm. This person released you. This person is going to get rid of that baby and they're going to make you know permanently now. You ain't going to be able to return back over here. Because I think terminating this pregnancy, I'm trying to tell you, it's going to be like a big shocker. Like, oh yeah, I know it's over. 
And I said in the didn't I say in the beginning? Like, uh, I said some months ago. Didn't I tell y'all Pisces was gonna try to trap somebody with a baby? I told y'all. Didn't I tell y'all that? I told y'all Pisces was gonna trap somebody with a baby. I told y'all. Cause they feel like if they trap this woman with this baby, it's their home security. It's their home security. You know what I'm saying? And this woman is going to show you. No, you're not gonna keep coming over here and, and look at the top of the deck, the motherfucking snake, young. Yeah. Look at this woman tied up around this fucking snake. Let me read this to y'all. Because I feel like that's important. Like, that's important. <sighs> it says power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Whoever is the person that got trapped. Because this is a trap. And I told y'all before it was a fucking trap. I told y'all. And this person is not allowing itself to be trapped. They're taking their power. They know, even though I feel like for this woman, it's gonna break their heart. That's why this queen, that's why this queen of wands is like this. She's pissed. She felt like you tried to trap her, but she's not gonna allow you because the situation is dry. You got her over here and this person over here and you in between worlds and you think you wanna keep allowing that shit to go down. It ain't going down, honey. She's removing herself. She is closing that chapter. Didn't I tell you? She's loyal to herself. That ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. Do you understand? If this is the Pisces woman, if this is the Pisces woman going through this, and you're just mad and you're pissed off and you're in this Queen of Wands energy in the reverse, stay there, honey. Because at the end of the day, you stand up for yourself. You stand up for yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Listen. This says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available for you. Follow it with faith. Trust. It says, transformation occurs through acceptance. I'm sorry, my ass can't talk. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform, all right, for the better. Do you hear me? Listen, the past is now be behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. Manifesting miracles. Your dreams are soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. I don't know. I really feel like this was a fucking cross reader's reading. I really do. I really do feel like this was a cross reader's reading. I mean, it was both energies in here, though. It was both energies in here of the person that was dishing and a person that was receiving only you guys know what side of the table. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're watching this because you're dealing with a Pisces and this is what the Pisces did to you. Or if you're a Pisces and this is what a fire sign did to you. You know? Or an Aquarius did to you. And that's why you are upset and you're in a fit of rage. And you're not allowing yourself to be trapped. Whoever this is, listen. The natural world needs you. I need you to focus on your environment. Okay? Protect your environment at all costs. And it looks like that's what you're doing. You're releasing. And you're not allowing this person to return. Ever. Ever. Ever again. Pisces, this has been y'all reading. Thank you guys if this video uh, resonated. Listen to me again. Don't be wrapped up in no fucking snake. Don't be letting nobody jump in and out your goddamn world whenever the fuck they want to. Close that chapter. Take your power back. Close that chapter, you guys. I love you. Peace.